June is a really exciting month. It's got Big Green Week in it, and um, we are doing a whole range of different things, um, including the launch of our first Climate and Environment Alliance. Um, that's happening on the 15th of June. So in the morning, we've got a session with the Strategic Alliance, particularly focused around climate and environment. And we're really hoping that colleagues will um, have a good look at their own businesses to look to see where they might be able to make improvements and changes that will support our collective um, push towards net zero for Cornwall. Um, and then in the afternoon, we have the Climate and Environment Alliance with some great speakers from um, local organisations who are going to talk to us about what we can do and what's already going on in Cornwall to help us reach our net zero target. That's really exciting and, and we're really keen for organisations who would like to get involved in that thematic alliance to come along on the day and we'll post some links for you to be able to um, get involved. We've also for Big Green Week, which um, runs from the 12th to the 16th of June, we've got some free training for the sector from Cornwall Marine Network, um, a number of different topics, including climate and environment and how you can green your business. So look out for those. Um, we're doing some staff volunteering on the Friday of Big Green Week. So we're looking to see, um, I think probably going to go in a range of different places uh, to volunteer with local environmental charities. And so if you've got any suggestions of things that you'd like BSF to help you with um, on that day or at some point during that week, please do drop us a line. We'd love to come and support the, the work that you're doing. And then internally in BSF, we've been working on our own climate and sustainability plan. Um, and that includes looking at all the aspects of our business and the things that we can control to reduce our climate impact. Um, one of the things that we're um, focusing on to start with is um, changing who we bank with so we can bank with a uh, bank that's uh, more ethical and much more focused on climate and sustainability. So please do get involved with Big Green Week. Tell us what it is that you might be doing if you're doing anything to support that and we can make sure we publicise that through our newsletter and our socials. So as part of the um, Strategic Alliance and the Climate and Environment Alliance on the 15th, we're really hoping that we can come together as a sector and declare a VCSE sector climate emergency, which a number of other um, sectors in Cornwall have already done uh, and a number of organisations, actually. Um, and I think there's for me, there are a number of reasons about why it's important that we come together to do that. I think there's something about um, demonstrating how we as a voluntary sector are stepping up to meet the challenge of climate change. Um, we're businesses in our own rights in, Corm in Cornwall and we've got the opportunity to be part of the solution in meeting the climate challenge. And, and crucially, I think, working as a sector to support each other to deliver that because most of us aren't big organisations. We don't have lots of resources where we can bring in a climate specialist. But hopefully if we work together, we'll be able to support each other to do what we can um, to meet the climate challenge. But secondly, I think we're we're often organisations who are supporting the most marginalised and the most vulnerable people in communities in Cornwall and across the islands. Um, and they are the communities and people who are already and will be most affected by the impacts of climate change with things like increases in the cost of food, energy prices, housing and a whole range of other embedded inequalities in communities. So I think as a sector, we have to do as much as we can to ensure that those inequalities are addressed and supporting the climate agenda is one of the ways that we can do that. So tell us if you're doing anything for Big Green Week and, and we'll publicise that for you. Please come along to the Climate and Environment um, Alliance on the 15th. Um, and uh, that alliance will have a range of organisation whose work is particularly focused on climate and environment. But we're really keen to have other organisations who are passionate about this area or who are just interested to know what they can be doing to come along on that day. Um, you might want to consider um, appointing perhaps a staff member or a trustee from within your organisation to lead on climate environment. It's something that we've done at VSF. We have a really passionate trustee who wants to support us to push that agenda forward and perhaps take some time 
to review um, your organisation and look for areas that you might be able to reduce your climate impact. And we're really happy in VSF to support you with that. That's part of the reason why the um, Climate Environment Alliance is, is setting itself up. And we're really happy to share our action plan um, for VSF. And I'm sure other organisations across the sector would be happy to do the same. So if you've got a climate and environment action plan that you'd like to share with us, we can collate that and perhaps do a bit of a climate collated version of, of everybody's action ideas and, and, and publicise that so that you've got some ideas and how you can take that agenda forwards. Please come and join the lunch and learn sessions. They're free and uh, they're online so that you can access them from your computer um, and perhaps consider putting some time aside during Big Green Week to volunteer on a climate or environment project or an organisation that might be working in that thematic area. Um, there are loads of opportunities during the week um, that we're publicising to come and get involved in beach cleans at Porth Town Beach. Um, there's allotment and gardening opportunities. Um, and there are two films which are showing on Sunday, the 11th of June at Princess Pavilions in Falmouth, which have been developed by Cornwall Climate Care. Um, living on the edge and food for thought so if you want to go along and um, have a look at those screenings um, they're also available So VSF have been um, busy with recruitment and new staff members over the last couple of weeks. We've got a couple of new team members starting this month who should be really easy to remember because they're both called Sarah. Um, so Sarah Turnbull is joining us to be the programme coordinator for the New People in Mind service. Um, and that's our role there is to just contract manage the service, which is being delivered by a whole range of organisations, including Citizens Advice, Pentreath, Cornwall Mind, Young People Cornwall, Chaos, Clear, Age UK and Volunteer Cornwall. And just as a reminder, I know we've had this in a previous video, but this service will also have a grant scheme which is administered by Cornwall Community Foundation, as well as a personal budget fund to support bespoke services um, that people might need. And we should have details on that grant scheme available shortly. And then we've got Sarah Phillips, who some of you will know, who's rejoining VSF as an engagement officer, picking up the thematic area of mental health and ensuring that the VCSE has a voice in the integrated care area space. And um, Sarah's replacing Ellie, who left us um, a couple of months ago to join We Are With You. Um, so that's a lot of the work that we've been doing over the last couple of weeks. So the other thing that we've been doing um, over the last month is getting our business plan together. So we're about to publish that, which sets out what we're here to do as VSF and particularly what we're here to do for you as a sector. We'd really welcome feedback from you over the coming year to ensure that we're really continuing to meet your needs. We know we can't please the whole sector all of the time, um, but we are here to connect, support and promote you. And we're always keen to hear the things that we're doing well and the things that we can do better to support you. And then on a personal note, I was reflecting just how much on the drive home yesterday, um, being in nature makes me feel happier. And we know there's so much evidence that it's really good for our well-being. But if you're anything like me and you're busy with work and kids and dogs and all the other things that we have to juggle and I've been struggling to get outside as much as you might like, then I think May and June are absolute favourite months for hedgerows in Cornwall. I don't think there's anywhere better. So I've been just trying to appreciate on my drive to and from work how beautiful beautiful it is to see the bluebells and the campion and the cow parsley and that's kind of my nature I reach into nature which is keeping me sane in the busyness of work